the stewed recipe hello hi everyone good morning good afternoon good evening from wherever you're watching i just hope you are doing great welcome back to my channel guys once again my returning subscribers thank you thank you so much and if you haven't subscribed please kindly do so subscribe to the channel for more of the videos for more of the uploads for more of these updates like i just love food yeah let me just say i love food i love preparing new recipes and guys i'm going to share with you many many kind of new recipes maybe uh, of which maybe i have never tried in my home but i'll get the chance to share with you guys and so let's get into it so this is my beef i just got it out from the freezer but it's okay now my audience is not big we are only six in number i'm going to blend it with the potatoes as you can see they are large um uh, they're large in size but that one is going to be enough i love using spices like this is how i normally love love spicing up my food so this is black pepper but i'm not going to put too much of it beside it i have tropical heat uh, this is paprika sorry like the brand i love using tropical heat yeah and the next one is turmeric this is my favorite my favorite of all i just love turmeric because of the color that in, it normally adds inside your meal and trust me it's amazing this is cumin spice i don't love it that much but at least i do use it yeah and the next one wow it normally brings taste into my meals that i do prepare and my kids really really love this royco cube it's a beef flavor that's why i'm using it at this moment yeah you know that i'm going to and to the next one curry powder i don't know if most of you love using curry powder yeah and whenever i'm preparing my cabbage i don't forget this spice guys raycom choosing mix it's quite different from the other one that i just showed you raycom cube yeah for the beef flavor it's different but i love using this one as well i love using it as well remember to uh, salt for tasty don't forget to add in some salt and of course my vegetable oil i don't forget whenever i want to cook whenever i want to prepare something to prepare something just different from the uh the drinks i definitely don't forget my vegetable oil so guys let's get into this video let's get into this video don't forget to like please give this video a like don't forget to subscribe and i love you love you so much so let's get into it so yeah these are my potatoes i love cutting them into cubes cubes and they are ready to be boiled as you can see i have to boil them first meanwhile just remember that my meat had already been cooked let me just say had already been boiled earlier and so i have to boil the potatoes as well as you can see i'm just going to cover it with a lid and then let it boil for like 10 to 15 minutes I know it's it will have been properly cooked I don't have to use a lot of tomatoes like uh, more than two let me just talk of more than two uh, the two is enough and I'm just going to blend them I'm going to place them inside my blender and uh, with me these are the coriander leaves i just love just guys look how they are fresh fresh from the fridge i love keeping them inside this amazing tin after draining all the water that i had washed um i just place them inside the tin then directly to the freeze that applies to the um what are these called yeah the green papers i love using green papers whenever i'm preparing something uh kind of uh, like frying yeah whether it be beef or chicken i don't forget to use my green papers so 
i think it's ready at this moment let me just try it by using a knife it's ready and i'm just going to turn the heat off and this is it So I normally don't use a whole whole size of the ho-ho, uh, at least a half of it is enough and uh, with alongside with my tomatoes I'm going to chop them and I'm going to place them inside my blender as you all can see and then and then yeah the process to begin from that I'll blend them mix them up together to completely you know make a nice soup. That's my amazing sophoria. This is the sophoria that I'm going to use to fry my beef. Yeah, to beef stew my <laughs> my meal for today. So I'm going to add it, to add in the beef inside. Of course, there's some oil. Remember, I removed it from the fridge. And at this point, let me just stir it. Um, I just need to the oil to completely melt, yeah, before using the original oil. Yeah, look at my amazing skooma wikis, fresh skooma wikis. I just got them directly from my farm yeah i have a farm guys and i will upload a video showing you just uh showing you just uh what's inside my farm guys enjoy these amazing parts with me interesting parts i'm officially starting the cooking part yeah i'm officially starting it guys uh -huh. just look at the beef look at the bone marrow you all understand what i'm talking about keep on watching the video don't forget to like so at this point i'm going to add in my toe oh sorry not my tomatoes you know I, I i really love using tomato i love eating tomatoes so i've just added in my onions it was uh, half it was one full size yeah a medium size it wasn't a large size of my onion and there i'm going to add in my turmeric spice i don't like mixing it with water 